<laughs> Look at him down in the cubby hole. He's so cute. No. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is Horde Night 35. It's going to start here in one in game half hour. Uh, so we should be ready to go. Uh, let's take a look at our points here. We currently have um, two points to spend. I'm going to pump those right on into Perception. I want to wait for the next point to get to Perception 2 because once we get that, then we'll be able to get Demolitions Expert 7. I expect that we'll get those tonight. Um, these explosion bases usually bring in a lot of XP. Uh, so let's see here. I've got on my person, I got my nerdy glasses on, so we're going to get maximum. Uh, are we going to get that 10% bonus for XP? We got a couple of atom junkies that we're going to start the night off with a whole bunch of explosive pipe bombs, uh, quite a bit of ammo, medical supplies, all the usual stuff, and then some extra supplies in here. So yeah, uh, basically, we're going to see how this goes. I had uh, 44, yeah, I had 44 forged steel that I had, you know, looted. And so I went down and upgraded the blocks um the the middle blocks down below to four of them anyways to steal they're actually five across but that's all all i had to do because the zombies are really going to be concentrated on that particular area uh our doors are closed all of our hatches are up back here so yeah we should be ready to rock and roll here and uh, hopefully everything you know works as smoothly as i'm expecting it to all of our weapons should be fully loaded Yep, so we should be good to go. Um, this is obviously, I do have my sledgehammer here in case, for whatever reason, we might feel like we need to fall back to the melee side of the base, but I'm not planning on really, I can't really use melee in, uh, with this side anyway, so if it looks like we got some zombos, you know, getting stuck up there, we'll we probably shoot them with the pistol or the AK just because if we shoot with this, um, some of the spread's going to hit the blocks. I don't know. We'll see how that goes, though. Um, okay, well, yeah, here we go, guys. Uh, so we basically are right at the very beginning of the next level. So it, all, le all levels we get tonight will be essentially full levels. And, um, yeah, so let's see how things go. Come on, Zombos. I'm going to let it build up just a little bit. I don't want them down there for a real long time beating on stuff though. All right, yeah, let's let's take these and get started here. If you watch in the lower right-hand corner of my screen, you can of course see the XP coming in. We've got 7,000 XP for that, nice. And I'm just going to Almost not 4,000 XP for that one. I'm almost going to just non-stop throw bombs. I mean, we've got so many bombs. And if we, you know, if we do happen to run out towards the end of the night, we'll just go over to the uh, other side. I need to, uh, I need to have, some, if I had some grandpa's learning elixir going on with this at the same time, man, we'd really be pulling in the XP. But so far, it seems to be working pretty good. 6,000 XP for that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 2,000 for that one. 4,500. Nice. 63. Okay, let's just touch this up a little bit. Uh, I hear some banging around going on out there, but... One thing I've noticed with Alpha 20 is that, you know, with these base designs, they still, the AI still get gets a little, I don't know if confused is the right word, but they'll kind of, like, try and figure out a different path and hit on blocks, but then they, then they refocus on the main path. It's really kind of weird, so I'm not expecting there to not be some, you know, what we'll, I guess we'll call side block damage, but... As long as the majority of them are coming down the main path here, then uh, we should be fine. All right, so we got... I think we have a cop down there that might not have blown up. There we go. Okay. Sounds like we got a buzzard coming in. That's why we have the shotgun. 
All right, takes care of him. All right, come on, Zombos, let's do this. Yeah, I, I don't want them... I don't want to let them build up too much down there or they'll just tear the shit out of the pit, so... Because I have no way to repair it, so we need the pit to stay relatively intact for the whole night, so that's why we gotta, you know, keep the explosives coming as best as we can. I hear something going on over there, I don't know. Okay, we've gone through our first stack of pipe bumps. Already a bunch of bags and stuff down there. Three thousand for that one. Nice. Just getting that next level in perception to itself, I think, helps with explosives. We'll have to I'll have to look at that again. I'm not sure. All right, let's um. Are they hitting the side walls at all? Uh-uh. So whatever they're doing, it's over across the way. Um, oh, we got a buzzard there. He did. Okay, well, again, we can't really do anything about whatever they're, they're doing on the side, so we just have to focus on the explosive pit here. Oh, shit. All right, there we go. That was funny. Didn't think that would happen. It must have hit the the gap just right. All right, let's do a touch up on this. Okay, one or two more bombs, so we should get the next level. There we go. All right. So it is, uh, we've only gone, gotten through one hour of Horde Night, and I've already got another full level. Pretty damn cool. Can we just, uh, do this to get rid of them? There we go. <laughs> okay, let's put that level into, uh, perception. Um, two points. Oh. I thought we already had a point. I guess we didn't. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, chances to dismember with explosives. That's what that does. Okay. Why do I, I keep, like, getting bounced or something here? It's really weird. I'm guessing they're just working on the, you know, the, the side supports where all the plates and everything are. Okay, we've gone through two stacks of pipe bombs so far. That's why we have six blocks back, just to make sure we have plenty of room on those uh, throws that don't get all the way down. Come on, Edgar, go down. What's he doing there? I don't know. Get off there, dummy. There we go. <coughs> oh, is that cop spit that's causing the the rocking of the base? Maybe. I don't know. Kind of weird. Minimal damage though, so not too bad. We can definitely keep up with that. Five, 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 five XP. That one got stuck in the middle again. That's funny, man. Maybe I should throw it kind of at the at an angle, but still probably get stuck anyway. At times, you know. Get off there. Get off there, man.
Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what to do about these guys on the side. We're gonna have to figure something out. I don't. I'm not really too worried about it for tonight, but the later hordes that get really nasty, that could be a problem. I mean, I guess I could open up these sides with bars and just shoot them out of the way. Um, that exposes me to cop spit though, too, is the kind of downside to that, but... Um, did I hear a vulture? I mean, I'm feeding enough zombos into the meat grinder, you know, just with the explosives that it's working quite well. I just, you know, I don't want the integrity of the base in general to be compromised. Which, here again, I don't think that's going to happen tonight, but... I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's get this out. Can we just take a quick peek out here? Oh, they're working on the ramp. How weird is that? Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, I kind of don't give a shit if they... I mean, I don't want them to bust up the ramp, but... If they destroy the ramp, it's not going to cause the our, you know, our little cage to come crashing down. I haven't taken the other Atom Junkie yet because I'm not getting the huge groups of them at this point. Dead yet, Edgar? Alright. I mean, I guess I could handle it that way. We might want to come up with a little more. Um, what's the word for it? Make it a little safer for us to go out there. Are you kidding me? Have I actually killed the horde already? No way! Come on, man! What happened to the horde staying with you all night long? Did they... Oh, that sucks! This base is way too damn good! <laughs> oh, no! Come on, man! What the hell? Why are they... Why aren't they... Why don't they keep coming all night long? All right. Oh, shit. Well, I don't see any completely destroyed blocks. I mean, they were banging on stuff. All right, well, let's get that loot. Well, let's check this one first. Well, that's disappointing. Doggone it. Are these better? Nope. Got a steel axe there. Well, that's too bad, man. I guess the hordes don't stay with you for the entire night anymore. Maybe they will later on. Um, I wonder if I bumped it, you know, bumped it up, bumped up the uh, the number, you know, the the horde count. Uh, we have it set currently to what is it set to? Uh, 32. Sorry, my, my brain is just not firing on all cylinders. I had kind of a rough night last night. I'm really sick right now. Oh, what's that? Uh, well, whatever it is, it'll teach you uh, medic mods about it. Okay, well, we already know it anyway, so we'll just sell it. Look at all the loot, though, man. Holy crap. I mean, most of it's just basic stuff. It's not absolutely amazing. Lots of brass, lots of bullets. Well, that's nice. Is that better than the one we have? I don't know. Okay, well, shit. Um, 
I guess that's it, you guys. Jeez, man. I was hoping we'd have like a whole night of non-stop Zeeks and I'd get like a shit ton of XP. I mean, we almost got another level if you look at my XP bar. Really close to two levels. But there's no denying I think that this base works pretty damn good. Um, you know? Really good. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to have to come up with a better solution for the zombies that get stuck uh, out here and keep, you know, banging on stuff out here. Let's, um, let's just put a few more things in here so I can get the rest of that uh, loot down below taken care of. Um, actually, I'm going to take this right now and let's upgrade this other one. Oh, we need concrete. Okay, let's get the rest of this before it disappears. Okay. Uh, yeah, we gotta get some concrete down here first. Okay, well, it's kind of, I guess I'm, it's kind of a bittersweet situation because, um, I was hoping for a hell of a lot more XP. But, it's really good to see that the base works quite well, um, you know, so there's that. And, um, yeah, so, all right, guys, well, I guess I'm going to let, I'm going to cut the camera here and get all the repairs done on the base, get all the stuff taken back to the house. And then, um, we will probably just continue, uh, resuming questing, uh, tomorrow and keep working back on up the tiers with Trader Wrecked. So, yeah, all right, I will see you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, I came up with a, a solution for the um, access thing here. So basically what I did is I removed that, um, the bars that were up there, put a ladder in here, and then we can just climb up here and shoot down on any any zombos that get fixated on uh, the blocks instead of coming down the path. Now, it's not super safe because, you know, we can get spit on by cops if they're around or hit by buzzards, but... I think it's a little safer than me, you know, trying to do it from down there like I was uh, earlier. So we just got to get all this stuff upgraded, which we'll do before the next Horde Night starts. I just need some scrap iron uh, for that. This we can upgrade to um, an iron ladder right there. Um, look at that. Hey, we got a little extra Hordies coming through, man. All right. Come on, guys. Come get me. Might as well get a couple more points in XP, eh? Just finish repairing this damn thing too, man. <laughs> oh well, that's all right. A little more XP. A little more XP for us. We'll take it. 2,400 to be precise. And I think that's all of them. Nope, there's one more skater punk down there. Let's take him out too. He must be on the other side. There we go. Got him. All right, cool. Now I gotta go down there and repair all that shit again. <laughs> That's okay. Nobody dropped any bags. Yeah, it's just really light damage. I gotta get some more steel and come back down here and repair all of those anyway. So uh, I'll fix the rest of this uh, during uh, at that time. So okay, cool. All right. Well, I just got one more small load of stuff to take back to the base, and then um. I got a few things I want to sell to Rex, uh, so I'm going to have to repair those. So I think what I'll do is I'll meet you guys at Rex. We'll sell those stuff, get some coin, and then get started on the next quest that he asked for. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, here we are at Rexipoo. Rectipoo. Come near me again. Um, I'll cut you. Take all of this stuff as usual. I think we'll leave the rest of that in there. Okay. All right, let's take a look at your inventory. And uh, currently we have a little over 7,000 coin. Um, yeah, okay. Let's sell all this stuff to him. I got to make sure I don't sell something I don't want to. Really? He doesn't want that, huh? Okay. Let's sell him this and that. Um, these are one less than what I have on. So I already looked at that. Impact driver's not as good as my uh, ratchet. Well, actually it does 54 block damage. This one does 56.6 block damage. Yeah, it's just not as good, which is disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, this one 
This ratchet that we got in the, at the Horde Knight does 56.4 block damage. This one's, I mean, they're so damn close that it hardly matters. This one does more melee and power attack, but I mean, who uses a ratchet as a weapon, right? So uh, we're just going to sell this. We're going to get 763 coin for it, which is pretty nice. Um, and I think that's all we were going to sell to him. So that gets us up to 11,000. Now, keep in mind, I've got a, another full stack, 20,000 coin back at the base. So that's not all of our money. Okay, so he looks like he's reset. Let's take a look at his inventory. Ranger's Guide to Archery. Not really super interested in that. All right, that's all he's got for normal stash. Let's look at his normal. I mean, for his uh, secret stash. Let's look at his normal stash now. I'm looking for a crucible, among other things. Still looking for the... Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start buying Fort Steel... I mean, it's really expensive, but until we can find the crucible, I suppose maybe what I should do is run over to the other traders and just look at them really quick. Thing is, is I don't have any points yet in, um, I don't have any points yet in Lucky Looter, uh, or maybe I have one, or not, I'm sorry, not Lucky Looter, Looter, Better Barter, and I don't know if... The crucible will never show up if you don't have that or if it's just a better chance. I'm not really sure, but we need steel. Gosh, man. Okay, I'm going to hold off on that. We have till day 37. That's just a lot of money. Okay. Be careful out there. You wouldn't want to get hurt. So we actually already had had to take a job from him. Um, so we're ready to, to go do it. Let's get her done. Here's a vending machine here. Does it work? It does not. That means we can take it apart and get the steel from it. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. This is our place. What is this? This is just a clear. Um, most likely I've been in this house before. Oh crap, there's a bear there. Let's wrench this. I'm afraid that bear might give us some trouble. Come here, Jiggly. Alright. Just checking to see if he's going to go the other way. That's a construction site box. All right, well, let's not double dip. Let's just go. Tier two clear. All right, let's do this. We do need to be, like I said, mindful of that bear. All right, we actually have an op an opportunity for a sneak shot. That doesn't happen very often in Alpha 20. Well, <laughs> so much for that opportunity, huh? <laughs> we couldn't get through the, the friggin' uh, uh, treadmill, man, that sucks. Oh, well. It's all good, man. It's all good. Okay, we'll take that stuff. I uh, would definitely want to do uh, cement as we come across it. I'm going to do a little more selective looting as we continue on, especially on these earlier, you know, lower tiered um, quests that we're trying to bust through so we can get back to tier four with wrecked. Let's check here. Really? That's not lootable? Well, I was going to say, it should be lootable. We are still on the lookout for that beanie mod. All right, take all that stuff. That zombie must be outside. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and go back outside for a second and drop the stuff off. Uh, we don't want that, and we don't want that, and we don't want that, and we don't want that. Everything else I think I want to keep. Do it. We did learn the, um, motorcycle chassis schematic. So we're on the lookout for the handlebar schematic, because if we could find that, that'd be great to be able to make a motorcycle without having to spec into the mechanic thing at this point, because I really don't want to do that at this point. Okay, back in business here. 
Oh shit. Take that, Fido. Son of a... Take that, Copper. You son of a... Alright, I think that takes care of whatever was coming after us in this room. Uh, you know what? I don't think I actually have an extra flashlight. I'm gonna hang on to it so I have an extra flashlight. Oh, look at what's in here. A safe. Nice. Let's black that off. Um, oh. Okay. Um, are these almost in here or what the where the hell are they? Well, that's blocked, so we have a moment to react if they come down here again. Okay, let's do the safe. Don't break that while well, my lockpick is still working. Okay. Alright, try this again. <laughs> nice, we got it in two shots. Um, I have my luckies on. Okay. Eh, damn it. Damn it, Jim. Sucks. Okay. Sports bag in there. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna scrap that. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. You guys may have noticed, too, by the way, that... You know, now that I'm a little better armored and geared, I'm not really trying to be stealthy, per se. If I can have... A chance to do a couple stealth shots like you know from here I'll take it but I'm not really uh, too worried about that anymore okay. so we got a red dot over there coming around the corner ah oh, shit that was bad timing hey hold still man how am I supposed to bash your brains in when you're Wiggling and jiggling around like that. That mother gave us frickin' abrasion, man. Alright. Let's take this. I'm gonna scrap this and chuck that. You know, we could actually stand to drink. So let's take a drink. Okay, so looks like we got a an Edgar or some other irritating... Zikaru trying to break in over here. I'll we'll have to deal with them in a second. Let's do a quick kitchen loot. Break it. Look at that. Right out to the bike where we can drop some more stuff off. What do you know? Okay, let's continue on here. Anything inside there? Uh-uh. Take that. And then on up we go. Probably a Zeke in there. You gonna spit through there, or what are you gonna do? You dumbass. No zombies in here, huh? Guess not. More than likely, they would have already popped out if they were there. Don't want any of that crap. Uh, we'll take. Yeah, we'll take all that. I'm slowly hanging on to spoiled meat for, um, you know, the. Probably <laughs> look at him down in the cubby hole. He's so cute. No. 
Uh, anyway, um, what was I saying? Probably, we'll probably do a garden at some point. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on using hunting as our main source of food, though. So that's going to be a higher priority that, you know, later on we might do that. Do 20% more damage to land claim property. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter to us, but we'll take it. We'll take it to get the thing, um, the achievement at the end kind of thing. Uh, we got a purse here. Okay. Um, do these desks wrench? Because I think they give plastic. No, they don't seem to. Okay. But if you just axe them. Oh, you get plastic and iron. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, we have to go out this way. No zombie doodles in here. Close that door for a second. Um, I'm just going to sell that because we already know how to make them. Let's get the brass off of these. I'm going to start wrenching office chairs instead of scrapping them. You get more leather if you scrap them, but uh, we want to really start collecting mechanical parts um, in case we do decide to start making grenades. So, yeah, that's the plan for that. That's a plan for that, man. Uh, we got some landmines there. Take all that stuff. Can we get to the trash right there? Nope. Don't care about any of that stuff. Up to the attic. Intellect plus one. Those are the same as what we have, right? Yep. Okay, so we'll just sell those. Nothing in there. Nothing there. If you guys ever wonder why I don't keep scrap iron, it's because there's I just I never see the point in doing that. Maybe in the very early game, but you know I've got an iron mine right underneath the house. So, uh, which speaking of which, I need to actually do some iron mining. I'm really low on it. But it doesn't make sense to take up an inventory slot with it, in my opinion. <coughs> Alright. Alright. So, a few Zikaroos. We should probably give ourselves a little bit of Extra help there. I think we'll be okay, actually. Oops, wrong weapon. All right, there you go. Snag this cobble here. You know, I guess I could be taking these apart, too, because you get plastic and paper. The former, we are going to need to eventually start making steel crossbow bolts once we get the recipe for it, and the latter for shocker shells, of course. But, I don't know, it takes so much time. That's really kind of an off-camera thing I guess I can do. All right, fat lich room. Any zombos in there? Let's see what we get. Two skill points. Lab equipment box. Okay, we'll take all of that. Chamois box. We will take all of that. Um, sure, why not? I'll take that. We've got a weapons bag. All right. Big pile of food. An ammo pile. Nice. Uh, okay, we're going to have to... I'm not, I don't want to come all the way back up here. So, that's not seriously important. Um, two things of leather aren't seriously important. I got almost two full stacks of leather back at the base. I hate to throw it away, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. That's not super important. Uh, are we hungry? Yeah, let's eat the pears right now. Free up another slot there. And... Um, yeah, what the hell? We'll eat the salmon too. 
Okay, so that allows us to loot that. And then let's just see what's in here. Uh, oh, okay, nice. I'll take it. All right, I'll meet you guys back at Trader Rect for our turning. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? I sure am. Wipe that smirk off your face. Uh, all right. One job doesn't make us I just sold him an orange pistol. God. What the hell, man? Uh, I got, like, over two full stacks of painkillers, so I guess we'll take this and, I don't know, maybe we'll actually take it apart for the parts to build something nicer later, I guess. Okay, give us another job. Clear zombies 305 meters away. Let's uh, make it back. Country town business for Oh, got a couple things I want to sell him, too. Alright, so we're going to sell him this. He doesn't want that knife, right? Yeah, no. Selling that. And uh, these. Oh, and these extra, these nerdies too that we found. We don't need two of those. Okay. Let's run. Oh, before I let you, you guys here, go, huh? well, maybe you should try Shamway. let's run over to Trader Hugh and maybe even circle over to Trader Joel in the forest biome and just look at their inventories really quick. That wolf's over there. Working on those Zeeks. Let the Zeeks soften them up and then we'll take them out for some food. I always forget this is a multiple shot rifle. I always think it's a a single shot hunting rifle. And I, I've gotten into this bad habit in this game where, you know, if, if your weapon is out of ammo and you you fire, you hit the, you know, the trigger, it'll reload for you. But that's, you know, that's not a good habit to be in, of course, because then I end up just wasting a, more ammo and stuff. Okay. Anyway, yeah, let me grab all this stuff that I have in here. I'm going to go back home real quick and get it, uh, drop it off. I'll meet you guys at Trader Hugh. We'll see what his inventory is, and then we're going to run over to Trader Joel before we wrap up this episode. All right, we are at Trader Hugh. So let's go check his inventory and see what he's got. You know, I realized, too, I haven't actually marked this, so let's do a... Um, Trader H, Trader Q, which it's kind of important now that we know who's who with the way the new questing system works. So, yeah. Did we look at that? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we're looking for well, well, another survivor. a uh, crucible, a um, beanie mod, and other cool stuff like that. All right, so let's see what you got. Lucky Looter Volume 3. Find more brass and loot. There's the motorcycle chassis itself. We need the handlebars, though. Shoddy Messiah Volume 3. Targets win three minutes have a higher... Yeah, we're going to buy that for sure. Uh, I don't really like contact grenades all that much. Wouldn't mind getting another anvil. In fact, we could probably make another anvil, actually, now that I think about it. Let's buy an armor pocket mod. Um... We might come back and buy that too, but let's see what else he has first. So we'll check normal stash here. Cement mixer, first aid bandage. Ooh, compound crossbow. Yeah, that's tempting, but man, that's expensive. Nah, I think we're going to hold off on that. Um, because, you know, we really only use the crossbow for for preemptive strikes anyways it's not like our main weapon so i don't think that i'm justified spending that much money on it right at this point in time all right that's all he's got okay i want to sell this to him if there's nothing else you best be on your way um, let's learn that let's take and put the pocket mod in here i was gonna say man do we have a spot for a pocket mod 
Okay, that brings us up another slot here, which is good. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's check his vending machine. Buy all food. I'm gonna buy that stuff too. And that's good. All right, let's go run over to Trader Joel really quick in the forest and then we'll wrap up this episode. Okay, let's check the vending machine. Uh, we'll take the health bar too. See what Trader Joel has for us. Hi. Hi. Take a look at your inventory. All right, steel knuckle schematic. We do want to go hand to hand at some point. Um. So let's keep that in mind. Got some more forged steel pistol peak volume five craft high power nine millimeter ammunition high power. What does that mean? Did, have they done away with like hollow points and armor piercing? I don't even know what that means. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what he's got in normal stash. Got a chemistry station. Green AK. Okay, well, um, I I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy that or not. I probably do. <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy this though. And yeah, what the hell? Let's just buy them both. I thank you, kind sir. High power. All right. Um, let's look at something here for a minute. Nine mil, high power. All right. So that used to be high power ammunition does more damage but costs more resources. <laughs> um. Okay. Armor piercing works especially well against armor targets, but puts a bit more stress on the gun. It can generate one enemy or block. Also, damn. Okay, so this causes more durability loss. So this is no longer called hollow point. It's now called high power. Didn't it used to be hollow point or is it all? No, yeah, it used to be hollow point, right? Huh. All right, let me know in the comments, you guys, if that's, if that's good ammo or not. I don't know. I always stayed away from hollow point ammo just because, especially in the end game, when you get to the point where you can afford to make it, I mean, half of your enemies are freaking armored anyways, you know, so it never really seemed to make a whole lot of sense. Hi, Nurse Nancy. Okay, you guys, well, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, whilst I'm in the forest and I have a little daylight left, uh, I'm actually going to harvest a whole bunch of chrysanthemum um, for red tea before I go back home. So uh, in the next episode... I think we'll probably just continue questing and keep working, you know, towards uh, uh, working through the tiers with Trader Wrecked there. So, yeah. Um, oh, we do have some points, too. We have two points, and we want to put those in Perception 7. So the next point we will be able to put into Rocket Man. Uh, we did learn the schematic for that, too, which means I believe we could make a blue level rocket launcher when the time comes it's just that the ammo for it is super expensive um so anyway yeah that's where we are with our points all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye